Okay, some characteristics of pigs that um, we, we know they have a super, super strong jaw as well as nose. They're known for rooting in the dirt and in the wild they do root. So that nose and that snout can be pretty tough and can you know scrape against you or even use you to put you off of your feet. Um, they have a very low center of gravity and so like this female here probably weighs 325 pounds. A full-size market hog would weigh 250 to 270 pounds but yet they're still at your knee level. So they have a lot of weight but it's distributed low and evenly across four square sets of feet. The feet have all of that weight on a relatively very small surface area. So when they do step on your toes or on your feet, there is quite a bit of pressure there as well. Pigs are known to fight with other pigs and this might occur in the show ring or when you commingle pigs. It's all, always a good idea to step away from that situation. In groups, pigs establish a natural hierarchy or pecking order, so they can be aggressive towards other pigs, each one trying to maintain or establish dominance. This could also be seen in feeding. Many of our show pigs are fed individually, but sometimes gilts, especially for the breeding shows, can be fed together. They might fight over feeders, um, push up against feeders, or even push up ag against the youth livestock exhibitor. So this is another good place for, to stay out of their way and we often feed from the opposite side of the fence. The other things is they, they smell extremely well, but they don't see very well. So putting them into a shadowy dark place or moving them across um, down out of a trailer um, might often cause them to balk and come back on you often onto your knee. Pigs are arguably the most intelligent of the livestock species that are shown and they also have a very, very good memory. This can work for or against the livestock exhibitor. For example, when training the pig to load onto the scale or load onto a trailer, if they have a good experience, then they will remember that and it will be easier the next time. If they have a bad experience, get pushed on there too fast, are scared or startled in other ways, then they will remember that as well and the next time it will be even harder. There are some minimum tools that every exhibitor needs to use in order to keep himself or herself safe as well as the animal or the pig that they're using. The first one would be either a whip or a pipe. Um, these we refer to as steering devices. They're never used as weapons or anything but steering devices. And we train the pigs to respect these and to respond to simple and light taps. If you use a pipe at home, you should carry that all the way with you into the show ring. Same thing with the whip because each pig will respond to the pressure that they have and if they respond then it keeps you safe as well. Another piece of equipment that is pretty essential is a sorting board and this is simply to make the pigs go in a certain direction. This is really helpful when you're loading them either onto a scale to be weighed or onto the trailer and since they're solid the pigs don't see through them and they'll only go forward towards the light. It's advised never to work an animal by yourself. For safety reasons, it's always good to have at least another youth exhibitor with you, and preferably an adult. While it is a family project, and we encourage everyone in the family to be involved in the project, it's still important for the exhibitor who's actually going to show the pig to work the pig and work it frequently. Pigs respond differently to different people, and so if the exhibitor who's actually going to show the pig is training it, the pig will respond appropriately. Small children are seen at a different vantage point and often have quick and jerky movements. This can startle the pig. There's often small children in a fair exhibition, so it's a good idea to expose your pig to a variety of sounds, noises, to help get them used to that. One way to do this is to play a radio in the barn, flash photography, get them used to a variety of different situations, practice loading and unloading in the trailer, and often to walk and exercise them through different routes so that they don't become creatures of habit. We suggest that you approach slowly, calmly, and you will often approach them from the front since they will be curious and be looking at you. Where to stand when you're grooming them is to their side, and you're usually grooming them down their back, down their legs. Pigs are certainly creatures of habit, so as they get acclimated and used to not only the steering devices in their facilities, 
things like trailers as well as the set of scales that they, you use to weigh them, they'll often get used to brushing and other grooming aids that you might use. If pigs are exposed to a variety of situations, they will see that youth exhibitor as a calming agent. They will often respond very easily to the steering device and will see that actually as a calming movement. When dealing with any livestock species, it's a good idea to thoroughly clean, wash your hands when you come back inside, especially before you touch your face, nose, or mouth, and before you eat anything. There are certain diseases that affect both swine and humans. Like we learned with H1N1, we can pass that virus from human to pig, and from pig to pig, and it's assumed, although not proven, from pig to human. So if you're sick, you stay home. If your pigs are sick, they stay home as well. If an animal does get sick, and that pig does need to be medicated or injected, it is a good idea to have someone other than the exhibitor actually give the injections. Due to the pig's long-term memories, the pigs could often take that back out on the exhibitor in the show ring. It's rare that exhibitors would have to abandon a project that's just not gonna work out for them, but if it's in the best interest of the pig and the exhibitor, that pig might have to stay home from the show or exhibition. Proper training should prevent this.